so we are back again and this is the second part of the upcoming series and this is also an important practical for your class 11 practical exams and the first part i have already uploaded it so was this part also so guys in this practical we are going to measure the depth of a beaker and its diameter by using a vernier caliper and then we are going to find out its volume for performing this experiment we need a pair of vernier calipers and a beaker the formula we are going to use are two formulas first for measuring the internal diameter and for the depth for the internal diameter we use the formula as msr plus vsr which is msr plus n into vc here msr n and vc are the main scale reading vernier scale reading and the vernier division coinciding and the vernier caliper constant or is also mentioned i have explained in detail about all these things in the previous video so please watch that video also then we use another formula for volume for volume the formula is pi r square edge here instead of using r square we use d square by 4 because we find out the diameter not the radius and we are using a formula of pi d square h upon 4 because a beaker as we all know is cylindrical in shape and thus volume formula for cylinder is pi d square h by 4 i have already explained in the previous video how to measure the diameter we are using the same method in this video also but for height there is a different method we'll talk about it further in this image you can see that the diameter of the beaker is measured by using the back side that is a pq scale and the diameter is as we can see is given on the ab scale and the other all the qualities of the diameter measurement is same as that of the metallical body so if you watch the previous video then you will realize how you can measure the diameter in a correct manner in this image the depth of the beaker is being measured by the small pointed scale that you can often notice in a vernier caliper and the height of that scale is noticed in the sqmv section that is where you can see a screw type of thing and a box made that is between 2 and 3 and then you get the measurement of the height which is correct and you have to take the readings of the height and the diameter again 5 to 6 times you can 5 times is an ideal number or you can even take it as 4 times but don't take it below this number then you will get that ideal measurement these are the different readings obtained after measuring the diameter of the beaker by using vernier caliper the main scale reading as i had already mentioned always remains constant it was for me 6.4 cm then i got various number of divisions coinciding it was 8 9 8 7 and 6 then after the calculation which i had mentioned in the previous video you get the diameters i i took the reading five times so i got five diameters which was d1 6.4 cm d2 6.49 cm d3 6.4 cm d4 6.47 cm and d5 6.46 cm an important point to note here is that there might be deviation but a major deviation means that you are going somewhere wrong in your calculation or else you can say there is some error and after this there is a calculation of mean diameter you have to do that to find a single diameter in this image you can see the various readings that had been obtained by the vernier caliper for the height of a beaker here the msr which is always remains constant was 9.2 cm then the vernier divisions coinciding were 4 5 7 6 and again 4 then by calculation i got five various heights because i took the reading five times it is important that the number of readings for the height and the number of readings for the diameter of the beaker both should be same for if i take five readings of diameter then i should take the five readings of height too so i got five heights h19.24 cm h2 that, that was 9.25 cm h5 h3 that was 9.27 cm h4 that was 
9.26 centimeter and H5 that was 9.24 centimeter. Then again like the calculation of the mean diameter I do here the calculation of the mean height which is same as the calculation of the mean diameter. After obtaining the diameters and heights we can also say the depths then I have calculated the mean corrected internal diameter that almost equals to 6.476 centimeter and then this calculation for the corrected height that is 9.252 centimeter both the procedures for the calculation of diameter and height are the same then there comes a calculation of volume by using the formula pi d squared h upon by 4 after the whole calculation you get the answer as 304.592329 centimeter cube and you can round it off to 304.6 for the precaution and sources of error you can watch the first part of this series because both are based on the experiments by vernier caliper and the sources of error and, the, and precautions both will be almost same so if you want to know the precautions sources of error then was the first part of the series.